Welcome to Science Olympiad at Home. Today we're going to be doing Gummy Bear Long Jump, where I'll show you how to make a catapult from objects you can find at home and have a competition throwing projectiles at a target. My name is Sherry Haug and I am the Elementary Director for Science Olympiad. We've decided to create this new segment of videos to give children science opportunities to just explore science and have hands-on opportunities at home. So today for Gummy Bear Long Jump, we're going to put the entire event on our website and you can download the entire event for future use. Here's the materials that you need from home. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need a catapult. We're going to explain how to make a catapult in a minute, but basically what you need is two plastic spoons, something to act as a fulcrum, and a roll of masking tape. Next, you're gonna need something to throw. The event calls for gummy bears. We don't have gummy bears at our house right now, but we do have gummy sharks. We also have gummy worms. We must really like gummy around here. We have some Swedish fish, some starbursts, some random chocolate. It doesn't really matter. Just something that you're gonna be able to put into your catapult and throw. Additionally, you're gonna need safety goggles because we do have projectiles that we're throwing. We want to keep eyes safe. In this case, my children both did Science Olympiad, so we have safety goggles that are laying around our house, and these can be placed straight over my glasses, which is perfect. However, if you don't have safety goggles lying around your house, a large pair of sunglasses would certainly do the trick. Additionally, you're going to need some sort of target, so you have something to aim towards. In this case, I found this one on, uh, on a website, and just downloaded it and printed it. But if you don't have access to a printer, all you need to do is take a plain white sheet of paper, draw your own target. Does not have to be perfect. And then color it in or don't color it in. It's up to you. So let's make our catapult. thing we're going to do is we're going to start by making our catapult. There's lots of different catapult patterns out there and that's certainly something you can do at home is build your own catapult. If you look on any Google any sort of catapult online there's lots of directions. There's also some directions that we have in our gummy bear long jump that again will be on the website that you're going to use some 2x4s, velcro, and a plastic spoon. If you decide that you want to use the two spoons and the clothespin I actually removed the spring from my clothespin so that I would have a more even object to use as my fulcrum. And I'm going to take a piece of tape, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around those two pieces in order to hold them together as I work. Now, one thing we have discovered is that you need to have a piece of wood that's probably at least a quarter to a half an inch wide in order for the fulcrum to stand between the two spoons. Otherwise, you're not going to get enough area between these two spoons. So I'm going to wrap my two spoons together at the very tip, at the very ends, in order to show you how to put your fulcrum in. And I would do this at home as well. Pull your two spoons apart. And then you can put this fulcrum in and see how it separates the two spoons and you can decide what's enough. So if maybe you might, if I decide I want to tape there, I can pull this back. Huh, I don't think that's going to create very much force. I don't think that's going to create enough trajectory by pulling that back. So I'm going to slide it back just a little bit more. Wow, look at that. Look at how much more room I have now to pull my spoon back. So I'm going to actually try to get it all the way down there. So I'll pull off my tape. And remember, this does not have to be pretty. Pull back my tape. I'm going to actually pull that fulcrum pretty far back. And I'm going to wrap it and try to get everything as tight as I can so things aren't moving when I'm trying to throw my gummy shark. And I'm going to tape now the other way to try to get it to be tight. 
My fulcrum does not have to be straight in there. As you can see, mine is crooked, and that is absolutely fine. That's not going to make that big of a difference. Okay, let's do a little test run. Let's see if everything is tight. I pull back that top spoon. Yep, I think that's going to work. Let's go test it. Now it's competition time. I have my safety glasses. I put some tape on the back of my target. I'm going to place it about four or five feet in front of me from where I'm throwing. Then I'm going to take a piece of tape. I'm going to walk back two or three feet and I'm going to create a starting line where our catapults will line up. Now we've practiced a little bit with these gummy sharks and they're a little heavy. So I've torn mine in half and I'm just gonna use the back end of it. Again, that's what this activity is all about. It's about trial and error. It's about changing your catapult, changing your materials, changing the objects that you're throwing, all of those things in order to make this a successful throw. And I actually wanna keep my gummy up here towards the top so that he flies at a little bit, flies a little bit higher. Let's see how I do. That wasn't bad. So I'm gonna come down here with my tape measure. I'm gonna tape from the center. I'm gonna measure from the center of my target. And my gummy is at about between 12 and 13 inches away from the center. Let's try it one more time and let's see if I can do any better. Put them back into the mouth of my spoon. Pull the spoon, pull the spoon back. Line them up and throw. Oh yeah, that seems to be better. I'll come up here, measure from the center, somewhere between nine and a half and 10 inches away. Again, play with the materials, throw, change the objects that you're throwing in order to get your object, after it's thrown out of your catapult, to land in the center of your target and have fun. Here's my son, Evan. I he, built my own. Why did you build a different one? Um, well, we're going to see if we get some any better results. Don't get your safety goggles. All right. Let's give this shark a launch. There we go. And launch. I'm just bad at this. And we got a little dog in the way. <laughs> oh, same result. This has been Science Olympiad at Home. Be sure to check out our website at www.soinc.org slash elementary. See you next time.